Hello everybody and today I'm going to continue my more friendship with Magic Me Season 9 episode 11. It has the title of Sweet Council which I'm very happy of unless we are getting more moves again. This should mean that we are expanding the school, the friendship school which is in shambles. There are some teachers, there are no students. Uh, we need to expand the roster of people or ponies who can actually have that. But the problem is that the student council is usually made out of the students themselves. So, I can actually see some more of Otanus becoming the council leader. But uh, it can be the other way around. They can actually have a problem with the council. They can uh, get some rules that they don't like. We can go in multiple directions. I just hope it's gonna be something that's gonna help the school go in the right direction. So let's just see right now. I know how hard you've been working. Hey, see. So I figured you could use a break. <gasps> Trixie, this looks amazing. But that's and Tracy having some work. Come. Uh, oh, speaking of. Wait, what? You have a maker um, who found that you can, they can just call you at any time? Sure, being counselor for the students at Twilight School of Friendship is demanding, but... Wait, is this he gonna help out? I don't think so, but... What was I saying? Oh, right. Being able to use the experiences of my checkered past to help young students feels pretty huh. great. Sitting on a chair on the towel. Mm, thanks. Of course, I feel nothing but admiration for the work you do, but it is a little all-consuming. Oh no, you don't say. What are you talking about? We're spending time right now. Same thing. Um, yep. Right yeah, thank you. This is when you actually uh, put mute your phone. Up, so this bracelet goes off whenever there's a knock. Yona is having the worst time with her braids lately. Huh. Anyway, you were saying? It wasn't even uh, something that you <laughs> needed to ask for. But at least, I, I guess you can actually go away for the... From the school, you don't have to mean that all the time because you can teleport. But still, you are always on call. You need help. Not only you, all the teachers need help. <laughs> we need to address this. Yeah. And then after she takes the time to get uh, help, get some time with her friend. I well. totally respect my younger cousins' decisions to stay sea ponies, but they've never been on dry land. Preparing for a visit with them is almost as much work as the research assignment Headmare Twilight gave me on hazardous fauna of the ever. Oh, that's a long line. How would you describe a shower to creatures who live in water? So far, um, I've got warm and steamy. Actually, steam has water how, in it. It's how would you? Extreme. Wait. There are a lot of students. Okay, I never do this. So, how would you describe a shower? To a sea creature who, who had never had a shower before. I mean, you would probably uh, describe it like a bubble bath. Right? They, they have seen uh, bubbles from before. When there are multiple bubbles, it's kind of like a shower. You are getting hit by multiple sands of uh, water. Not just one. A uh, continuous water source. It's a lot different than living in the water. And they will actually enjoy it. They will probably enjoy it. Let them try it. That's all you can do. You don't have to describe it. Let them experience it for themselves. And they can describe it what they feel. Yeah. Who want to see me today? I'm telling you. I just need a few shower adjectives that don't rely on the wet part. Shower adjectives. <laughs> well, there's clean, relaxing, um, relaxing. I don't know. A nap's relaxing too. Warm and clean are okay. Wow, I 
might have to give this some more thought. A lot of things are here, I think. Okay, well, I'm here to help. My door's always open. So, what is your problem, Mr. Abbott? Of course. Wait, I see? Oh. Now we can finish everything before sundown. Trixie, I... Mr. Henley? It's almost spring break. Um, and the others have already left to celebrate the spring solstice in Canterlot, and I have to help the students with any issues before they head home for the holiday. Um, <clears throat> I know you have to stay here while they are having fun. The party Maud and Mudbriar are throwing. Sunburst is coming to town. You uh -oh. and I promise to make the cake? Uh-oh. How could I possibly forget about that? Oh. Hey, it wasn't that so long. No pony is saying your job isn't important, but plans you make with your friends are important too. <sighs> yeah. I know. I'm sorry. Me, I need to enter. Obviously, I need to my students. Never think about an employee. I can't help with all the things we have to do. Good. Great. So, what are all the things we have to do? <laughs> and it seems like that we are going to the point that uh, Scarlet might want to make clothes of herself. But we know it's not fun. Mudbriar wants a bouquet of flowering sticks, whatever that means. And I thought we were both looking forward to Mrs. Cake teaching us the secret recipe to her famous... I mean, they were, you were. Oh, I well. totally am. <laughs> but we could just buy a cake from her, right? No. We could. No. But then we'd miss out on baking together. Plus, the time I spent flattering and convincing and begging her to share the recipe would be for nothing. And we promised to make a cake, not buy a cake. And the great and powerful Torexi keeps our promises! Oh. Hey, why don't we just split up these two? One more. I'll get the stream. Thanks for the Natalia, I have all Torexi. Get started on those sticks and I'll be right back. Uh, I will be annoying by you as well, Starlight. <laughs> Hang on to this. Wouldn't want to forget the things I just said I'd take care of. Because I am totally gonna take care of them. No, you don't have time for that. Everything else is more important, is it, it seems like. Blossom? I have no idea. <laughs> huh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Rose, but I need a bouquet of flowering sticks set. I thought I was getting the flowering sticks. Uh, I'm still not exactly sure what they are. No one is. <laughs> Alright, got it. You get the sticks, I'll get the streamers. Flowering sticks? Right after I take care of what I'm sure is an even smaller student problem than the last one. <sighs> um. <laughs> That's you. I think I have the shower thing under control, but I can't figure out how to describe a towel. How do you describe a towel? We are getting into the request. Smolder, I understand the school can be a bit drafty, but that doesn't mean you can breathe fire anywhere you want. Oh yeah, that's uh, a this very popular. Picked up Sunburst genuine pre-equestrian Equinox chafing dish. That was my job. I think. Because you think you think so long. <laughs> you don't even know what you want to be. Normal for a changeling to struggle with identity issues, but counselor. When you're done, I need some synonyms for the word dry, or really just help explaining the concept. Uh, I think you would need additionally. Wait, Mrs. Cake, you can't close. Trixie and I need to learn the recipe for your Equinox cake. Oh, it's fine, dear. Trixie was already here. I told her everything she needs to know. What? Uh, no. Oh, the great and uh oh, Trixie might oh no, 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 no. We don't want to go to time, Betty. Sure doesn't. I promised to help her today, and I haven't done a single thing. Oh, that does sound hard, dear. And, and I'm not quite sure how to tell you this, but your hope is glowing. Of course huh. it is. Of course it is. It's always. Yes, yes, I know that thing. Trixie, what are you doing here? It's the one place I knew I could find you. I am so I mean, yeah. sorry about today. I'm just so busy. I know. 
Obviously, your students are more important than your friends. That's not... Starlight, you have a minute? It's a minute of the night. Stream? I don't. Besides, I need to lock up the school for the holiday, and it's time you caught the train home. I'm sure a smart and capable student like you can figure out the solution to any problem over the break. But for now, the counselor's office is closed. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking to bake. But I can see it. You need to come down. Yeah. I can see that uh, is, you is probably saw so something that was um. Actually, I mean, it looks really interesting. Technically, it's not symmetrical or aesthetically pleasing. No, it's not the best cake, but we made it. No, I, I, and that's I like it. I'm glad you brought it and everything else. I'm very oh. excited. This is going to be the most perfect party ever. And Yay! With all of students <laughs> home for the holiday. I won't have to worry about you being summoned to your office in the middle of it. No, no, my me summoning. Take me away from this party. Hello, Starlight. Starlight. We have a huge problem. I'm sorry, this is a private cavern. Is Starlight here? I was told she'd be here. What's wrong? I'm Terramar, Silverstream's brother. I've been looking all over for you. Silverstream is missing. <gasps> yeah, you probably chose a door while she was actually needing you. <laughs> I don't understand. Silverstream didn't come home? Mm -mm. I was supposed to meet her at the Mount Eris train station, but she never showed up. It's a long way between Ponyville and Mount Eris. She could be anywhere. Our parents are leading teams of hippogriffs and sea ponies, searching the land and sea between here and our home. They said And me yay, is it a me or for that? Uh, that the is an intercom. Are you sure? I know she had a big project due for Twilight. Do you think she might have stayed to finish it? She never told me about a project. Well, she wanted to. You closed your office the last time she came by. Really? Huh? <laughs> what kind of counselor turns away a student with a problem? The kind with too much on her plate. Starlight has the kind who way. wanted to go out at midnight. <laughs> Except apparently when it matters. This is all my fault. You all go back to the party. Terramar and I will check the school. We'll it is literally sister. like the student who shouted more. <laughs> I should have known it couldn't last. Party perfection is more of a pinky thing. Mm. Oh yeah. I was wait, 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 pinky. But these flowers are just glued on, so technically it wasn't perfect already. Oh. But that's probably not important. Thank you. So you check the grounds and I'll look inside. That is you and why? No. I am pretty sure she's not in the particle. <laughs> Don't you have a locator spell? She's not down here. I don't see her anywhere. Did you check her room? Uh Yes, no. Well, maybe there's a letter. No, she isn't. But look at this. A cockatrice? Could that be what her project was on? You don't think she went into the Everfree Forest to find a cockatrice by herself? Why do would you think you know, it? But I'm going to find out. A shower, a towel. And what else must you need? Oh, what are you all doing here? We came to Can help. I help you. We couldn't let you handle this alone. Yeah, we Technically, she wasn't alone. But we oh. wanted to help anyway. Thanks. All of you. But can you? But the students are my responsibility. I'm the one who didn't do my job when hey, it actually except mattered. Hey, I might share a bit of the blame for pressuring you into leaving work early. But I don't want to ruin uh, your party. We can still have a party. A yeah, you can. Uh, can uh, we talk about all this? Yeah. <laughs> Stream might be in the Everfree Forest alone. 
We think she went in to do research. No, I'm pretty sure she did not know. She went in all of them to petrify any who dared to cross its path. And the reptilian birds are elusive and solitary. Where would we even start? I have a lot of experience telling ponies that I have experience with the dangerous creatures of Everfree Forest. Follow uh, me. Do you have experience, or you have experience of telling them that you have experience? <laughs> I think you might need this while for here. Says we go left. Oh, you go right. This way. Uh, do you really know where you're going? You're going to talk us, aren't you? Uh, the wind is coming from this way. Ah, lovely safe. <laughs> yeah, you're going around this circle. You don't know where you are. Hmm, I have this shampoo. Weren't we just here? Trixie, do you have any idea how to find a cockatrice? No. <laughs> but usually, when there's a dangerous creature in the forest I don't want to meet, this is how I meet them. We might I mean, need yeah. a more concrete plan. <laughs> Suit yourself. Um, according to Silverstream's research, the cockatrice prefers rocky terrain and ample shade. Rocks. I mean, we have mold and <laughs> I can't imagine earth fire. You find that in a forest. Actually, rocks aren't the most hospitable environment for shade trees. Technically, pine trees like Pinus Cambra or Pinus Sylvestris can grow from narrow crevasses or cracks in a rocky rhizosphere. Yeah, so you need to find pine. There's some pine trees over there. Uh, there's a whole lot of them. Wait, aren't they just uh, you you they making each other stone? They are. Then? This must be some kind of migration. There's no sign of silver. How does that work? I can't imagine getting caught in the middle of that. I'm pretty sure they, they, they stole none of them in, in the mirror. There. Technically, don't even say it. Whatever <laughs> you do, don't. Let me like think. Them. One of them is Osano, right? So, what do we do? Run! You don't need to run. You only not to uh, look in the eye, right? Ow. Sunburst! Stop! It's me! Starlight! Is it you? I'm so sorry. We have to get oh, out of here. Wait, didn't you need to see another thriller? Alone? We can't leave. Silverstream might still be in the forest. Stay here. I'll get the others. Be careful! Wait, you can't just step out to the other. Why can't you just step on the chair by saying? Motion? Yeah, that's right. Come on. Huh? Huh? Mod, we've got to get out of here. I'm not leaving him. Oh. Is it me? You are. Mudbriar's been turned to stone. I didn't think I could love him anymore. We've got to get huh? out of here. But we haven't found Silverstream. We can't leave yet. I mean, there's a cure for that, right? Come on. I'm in sure that is. Uh, didn't you look in their eyes? Wait, how does it even work? You clearly looked in their eyes. And now for the new ability for us, he is, uh, is gonna have you. Now what? Why are they making you the north? They can just fly over. <laughs> more cockatrices on the way. 
If this really is a migration, it'll take a full lunar cycle to complete. Oh, I have to get word back to our parents that Silverstream could be surrounded by those terrifying birds! As no. handsome as Mudbriar is now, we should probably catch one of them to turn him back to normal. Ugh, this is all my fault. I'm never taking time off from my counseling duties Ugh. again. That's There's another solution. Really? If I hadn't galloped off to a holiday celebration, Silverstream would be safe with her family, and you'd all be enjoying Mott's party. Instead, the student is missing. We're surrounded by a flock of petrifying chicken snakes. This is what I think I'm not here for. You got the hunk part right. <laughs> and to top it off, we have no idea if Silverstream even came to Everfree at all. But I have no idea where else to look. Maybe they had a here. Been there. What? Oh, that's the student's treehouse. Apparently, it grew. Well, they usually in. have some meeting. Of course, that should have been the first place we looked. No. Hi. No, that's also. Or this a friend? Edith. She's helping me with my Edith. project. I don't understand. After you encouraged me to solve my own problem, I decided to get my project done before I left. That way I could really focus on my family. Why my did you ride home? Closed, so I came here. Why didn't you tell anyone? Mom and yeah. Dad worried sick. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Once Edith volunteered to help, I guess I lost track of time. Cockatrices are really friendly if you know how to interact with them. Ah, Mister, 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 can you can actually have to trigger her nesting response? They are really fascinating creatures. Did you know that they migrate to the Everfree Forest once a year? Can you imagine what would happen if you stumbled on a whole flock of these? Uh, yeah. I have a few ideas. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> For me, but I'm glad Edith was able to turn you back. How do you tell the difference? I have mixed feelings about it. Technically, I will always be a stick pony, but the experience has given me an even deeper appreciation for the density and permanence of rock. Ah, um, <laughs> I get going, but I wanted to thank you for everything you did to help find her. I just wish I hadn't abandoned her in the I first remember place. how I hated Starlight, him in the beginning. I might as well have. And even though it's I think I see a new one. things could have been a lot worse. You can't be expected yeah, to you know, you know, you know, every second of every day. I'm not so sure. I like that you're always available, but it kind of makes it okay to come to you with stuff that maybe isn't super important. Of course, yeah. yeah. Being a school counselor is a big responsibility. But always being at work isn't But you can't do it alone. <laughs> Especially me. Do you think if I had set times to see me, it might help you decide what you I really thought that was an amazing yeah. idea to you. You really weren't very helpful with the other stuff anyway. Yeah. Wait, uh, what? Happy spring solstastic, every pony. Who wants a piece of Mrs. Cake's famous petrified dessert? You had me at petrified. <laughs> you was not even too much for thing, that's all. Oh. Uh. Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Eh? I'm a mother again. There was no science class at all. <laughs> there is no expansion of school. <laughs> what is going on with these episode titles? Last time they were going to scene and they never went to map scene. And now we have a student council that not not exist at all. And won't exist. We are just establishing that Twilight was stupid and Starlight was stupid as well. They never had a time that ah you can come from this time to this time. Not the whole day, it seemed like they actually came from zero to zero, from zero to twenty-nine. 
all the time they were looking over the door. Even when the school was closed. Also, was paying me, but nobody should be there. <laughs> wow! I can't even speak! Oh my god! That, that's, that's called me of God! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we know that the Congresses are migrating every year to the MFL Forest. They are having a fun party, but they get more Congresses. And somehow they are not telling each other. But. The mirror did turn them into stone. I don't know how that works. And also, that one of these person looked into the conversation's eye when she opened up the bush. She didn't turn into stone either. We, we just threw out the, uh, who was that we have said on the ground page before. Montpellier, I didn't like him. I still not, not one of the like him, but I love the chemistry between Moon and him. I love Moon. I love, uh, Oh, she actually loves Montmire. Oh, Montmire. And I actually like how she responded. Also, the thing that she said that she never comes far away on the on their promises. On that stop pony. That it seems like she is more like oh, I I still have to uh. Get to my punishment for what I've done. I have to go through this uh, um, hard times. I have to uh, have the students all the time because I was bad before. No, that's not actually happening at all. You you are just pushing yourself and you are not getting anywhere with them or with you either. You try to help, yes, but you are over overworking yourself. There needs to be a student council. There needs to be more teachers, more uh, more ponies in the school. There is not enough, and everybody, every pony has, has their own life, their own jobs. They do after everything. And I have a question: Where was Pinkie Pie? Why did Pinky? I mean, yeah, they were on the summer celebration or something. Uh, in another with Twilight. But I, I don't think why uh, Pinky would actually miss the celebration of her sister. I mean, she might not like Moonbrayer either, but still, she wouldn't miss it. He would throw a huge party for them. And I don't think more didn't invite her. Maybe she just didn't get the letter. And when she, when she gets home, she's gonna be annoyed. That, oh no, I missed! I, I have to make a new party! But, yeah, I can't see anything about that. You really didn't listen to the problems. Uh, Twilight. If you didn't even know that she was going to go at his, but she never said at one point, but there were so many things that you made uh, seem to you, your mind was everywhere. We, we saw it with this uh, list that you forgot what you were doing or what you were talking about. So it must be the same with the students as well. Your mind was everywhere, and you couldn't help anyone at the same time. It, it was a total chaos. So, it was kind of your fault, but really not. It was mostly, uh, he was his fault for not 
spending any money about her interesting. But here, yeah, it's been a nice enough episode, and I think I have to be ready for next time if I'm gonna get mumbles on the gun. Let's do the hoe! Hold me once, shame on me, hold me twice! Oh my god. I'm getting nothing. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.